Wait. So in this video, we're talking about an upcoming K-pop group. You might say they're upcoming. They come from a pretty big label, a YG group called Baby, Baby Monster. Monster. Super hyped about this group. Do you know anything about Baby Monster? A lot of my friends listen to them, or they've been kind of up on the buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on the radar. I, yeah, it's on their radar, but I personally have not listened to them or really seen any of their stuff. To be fair to them, they are like fresh. They are a new group. Yeah. They just debuted, let's see here, in 2023 in November. Mm, yeah. So they only released one official song. They did a pre release single called Dream back in May. Tonight, I don't know who I am. But like they're literally babies. Yeah, brand new. They're ba baby babies. monsters. They put baby in their name right yeah, now for sure. Less than a year, so. So here's a little, so just a little information so we can like set the table okay. before we go into this, right? So baby monster, also known as Baymon. If you guys are fans of Pokemon, I guess. I love that. I was thinking about, yeah, as soon as I heard that, I was thinking Pokemon or Digimon. Yeah. So they're a South Korean girl group formed and managed by YG Entertainment. The group consists of seven members. Ruka, Farida, Asa, Ayon, Rami, Rora, and Chiquita. Okay, this Ooh. is very interesting names. I love those names. I feel like they're so original. I've never yeah. seen names like that in my life. Yeah, we're gonna go through their bios Chiquita. later to learn all about them, but Chiquita, it's a very like spicy one. name. Yeah. So they pre-released a single back in May called Dream. Dream, but then they made their like official debut in November 27 with the song called Batter Up. Attention! However, 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 you know how we just listed seven names? Yes. They made their debut only with six members. So the seventh member was added later? No, she was part of the original group, oh. but they had to debut without her because of health problems. Oh no. That's really unfortunate. Just Imagine. Your whole group like, goes without you, you for the first song. Like that's mm. huge. Yeah, you work your whole life. You finally get chosen for this group. You're gonna debut and you get <sighs> sick. Well, I know. wish her well. Hopefully. Hope she gets better. So Baby Monster, I don't think they have a fandom name yet. And this is kind well, of a big well, deal for groups. Mm to have a fandom name? Does it typically, because I know with American or Western um, yeah. stars, mm -hmm. usually their fandom creates the name. I feel like in Korean culture, it's usually like they come up yeah. with the name and they're like, this is who you're gonna be. From what I've heard, there's usually like a mix where they kind of come mm -hmm. in with some names, but also if the fan base feels a certain way or yeah. they call themselves something, mm -hmm. I think- It just kind of sticks based on it's the It's kind of natural. So maybe that's what they're waiting for, something yeah. to grow out naturally mm -hmm. from the fan group. But Baby Monster, do you have any ideas for what they should be called? Bay Monies. <laughs> That's actually not <laughs> bad for off the cuff. No, they can't oh. be little monsters because, right? Lady Gaga has that. Okay, I have a horrible. No, I'm not gonna say it. No, say it. No, it. <laughs> you know, there are some things I say that shouldn't be put out in public, and everyone will know <laughs> okay. now. So, like, oh instead, of, instead of baby monster, it's like that. Do you want to go through the members? Let's learn a yeah, little bit sure. about them. Please do not come for me if I pronounce the names wrong. I'm just learning, learning. about them today. Yo. Okay, so we got a few members that are actually not Korean. Yeah. They are, they're Japanese members and Thai members, yeah. I believe. So the first one I have is Ruka, and she is the first female Japanese idol to debut under YG. Wait, is that true? Let's think yeah. about it. Wait. 21 had, they're all, they're all Korean. I think most of YG <gasps> groups are mostly the Korean. The only one was Lisa from Blackpink, who's Thai, but they don't right. have any Japanese members. In my mind with K-pop, there's already so many Japanese members yeah. in general, so mm -hmm. the fact that YG hasn't launched a Japanese member yet, yeah. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, and considering a lot of their songs, they end up uh, making Doing them Japanese in Japanese, too. Yeah, you're right. It's a surprise. Oh, but good shout job, out, Ruka. Shout out to shout Ruka. Out Ruka. <laughs> she has dimples. <laughs> Right to my notes. That's very important. <laughs> yeah, very important. Um, but it says that her specialty is dancing and hip hop. So, you know, there's always a very strong dancer in these groups. Yes. So I'm really excited to see if that showcases here. You know, I'm not surprised that she's a hip hop dancer, though. I feel like when yeah. you think of YG, hip hop is like <laughs> synonymous. That's the thing. Yeah, right? for sure. So we'll see if this is going to be a hip hop group. Maybe. Let's see what else. She has dimples, though. Don't forget. Don't, don't forget. She's she the dimples. one with the dimples. <laughs> then we have Farida, and she's Thai. So the second Thai, I guess, after Lisa. Uh, member uh, Blackpink, yeah. Female member. Female to member Blackpink. Debut Pink. under YG. Um, and she's a huge fan of anime, and that makes us friends. Oh, because... so you've already picked a bias? <laughs> yeah. This is how you pick a... <laughs> Yeah, the dimples are really like. 
getting me, but I think the anime <laughs> thing is more something that yeah, that's me funny. and Frida have in common. Next we have Asa. Yeah. She is also one of the first Japanese females that's debuting under YG. She speaks a variety of languages. Are you just choosing which fact to read? Are you just being selective? Specialty is also hip hop dance. Shocker. See, oh, I think damn. it's because they're gonna be a hip hop group. Yeah, okay, I like, the, I like that about YG. Do I you? Just, yeah. I'm bored of YG. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm bored. Can well, you guys do anything else other than hip hop? I just feel like <laughs> that's my vibe. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, if you're a hip hop fan, amazing. That's great for you. Mm -hmm. But as someone who's, I like, I listen to it a little bit. Yeah. But I kind of could get bored of it. Why can't YG be more versatile? You know? And because there's already so many groups that are genre blending so much. I right. feel like they they still add a little bit of electrical, like electric dance. You're right, right, right. You're right. They add a little electronic. bit of EDM in there. Electronic. Yeah. Electrical. Electric. <laughs> Next, we have Rami, or Rami, mm -hmm. sure. she's Korean, okay. um, and... What's, what fun facts do you have here? I have... Ooh. Her role model is Blackpink's Rosé. Okay, if you are an upcoming group from mm. YG, I feel like you just have to idolize Blackpink. Like, they're your you? sister group, they're your senior group, they're yes. the most popular K-pop female group yeah. right now, no mm -hmm. doubt, no question. Mm -hmm. The numbers say it all. Yeah. Like, Everyone's gonna idolize a Blackpink member here. They're not gonna be like, I guess so. <laughs> They're not allowed <laughs> to. For sure. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That makes sense. You know. We have Rora, and she was actually a former member of Kid Girl Group. You <laughs> SSO girl. Yeah, and she's under the name Yuha. Oh. So her stage name comes from the word Aurora. I love that. That's I think this cute. is one of my favorite names. She can also play piano. You're picking too many biases here. You're already <laughs> picking faves. So, so we have Chiquita, and she's Thai also. And third person to debut. I guess, how do you decide who's first and second okay, so in this group? Briefly, I researched classic Korean style. They mm -hmm. decided oh, this age. group through a competition. Oh. It's always like an audition okay. process of some kind, right? Like, mm -hmm. what I think that's a strategy that like K pop has done really well is mm -hmm. that they use the auditioning process yeah. as marketing for the group. That's true. Because if you think sense. Twice also came from an mm -hmm. audition group, yeah. Stray Kids also came from an audition group. Like, they get people invested early. Yeah. Until, so and then smart. when they debut, they already have a fan base, right? Yeah. I don't think you see that in the Western you know, music as much. No, as much. it's not really a system. It's not really. Okay. I yeah. mean, there's like X Factor and like American Idol and stuff, but. How it's many of those same. are at the top? Kelly Clarkson. That's another video. <laughs> no, Kelly Clarkson! Her biggest inspiration is Blackpink's Lisa. <laughs> for sure. And I'm like, pick one of the four to choose as your idol. <laughs> like, pick one of four. That's all you got. <laughs> but I'm saying, if you're a Thai person training to become mm. an idol, like, yeah, Lisa obviously. has got to be mm -hmm. your idol. Yeah. Or Bam Bam from GOT7 is Thai. I guess. He's doing great, yeah. too. But, like, but there's as, only a few. As, as for from. females, yeah. Yeah. Like, Lisa. Lisa's, like, one of the most popular idols, period. Not even Thai. Is that how you relate to her? You're like, me. For her name's Lisa. I'm Lisa. Okay. I'm so popular. Here's the thing. I was born before Lisa, mm -hmm. um, and then she took my name, and I now... I uh, think that's how it works. I think that's how it works. I was Lisa before Lisa was Lisa. The Next Korean we member. have Ayan, and she's Korean. Mm -hmm. So it says she's been training with YG for four years. So this is the member that has health issues, and she probably will not be in this video, so... Yeah, whoops. okay. So now that we, like, kind of learned about each member, who now has dimples, know. who idolizes Blackpink, <laughs> let's talk about their debut song, yeah. right? So the song is called batter up. What so, do you interpret from that right there? Okay, there's either going to be baking or... <laughs> for you know what? I didn't think of that batter. Or baseball. Yes! There's like flour. Like they're like <laughs> yeah. baking in the kitchen. So they like take dough and they're like... <laughs> you know what? It's K-pop. I wouldn't put that like Maybe. as not a possibility for a concept. So let's watch the music video. This is the okay. first time we've seen it. So, so let's watch it together. Mm. Wait! Why does it sound like Cardi B for a second? In this house, in this oh, house, the outfits. In this house. Oh, sorry. I already love the outfits. Yay. Where are the dimples? Oh my god, I can't see them. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All English so far. You're right. Wait. Oh, okay, you're trying to catch the dimples. <laughs> no, no. Wow, that egg is crazy. Okay. Why are you not connected? Hey, I'm enjoying this. Wait, wait, wait. So, like so far, like, I feel like this is so YG. Like, I feel like. Listen, see this, you see why I'm pissed off, though? YG mm. has a style. But I like oh. it. It works. It's doing well. I, I think this reminds me just 
of 21. It reminds yeah. me just of Black Even Black Pink. Pink, yeah. Yeah, like it's very edgy. It's kind of street style, lots of color. Yep. Really cool. I don't know, kind of grungy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. style. And edgy. the girls have attitude. Yep. That's the Classic type YG. of K pop I like. That's fair. You know what, maybe? Those it's... are all my favorite. Even with like Straight Kids, yeah. all their songs that I really like are all that edgy kind of in your face. That's your style? It's funny, music, my favorite Straight yeah. Kids songs are the ones that are like soft, like ballads. I don't know any of them. Winter. Wait, this is a whole different know. entertainment group where you're talking about. <laughs> We're not even talking about YG, YG. Okay. But like, you know what, maybe you're right. It's better to do something really well mm -hmm. than to do a lot of different things and kind yeah. of like be all right at it. Mm -hmm. YG has a style. Yeah, they have kind of a staple look or a staple type of group that, you know, you can kind of look toward. You're yeah. like, okay, YG is good for these things, whereas other Labels right. kind of mix it up a if little If you bit. like something else, go somewhere else. That's why somewhere saying. else. They're like, we're gonna give you. <laughs> we're gonna give you the same thing. What we've thing. been giving you. <laughs> it's like copy your friend's homework but make it look a little Yeah. <laughs> I want that pillow in the back. That smiley face. What are those ears? Here's the horn. She's a bad girl. That's why. <laughs> wow. Ooh, budget. <laughs> budget. The sets are giving. Yeah, the budget's crazy She's a on this. So much English lyrics. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. See, there's kind of like the best the baseball, baseball outfits. Well, I just had a black pink moment. That was Wait. such a black pink. Is that blue? Like, yeah. She kind of looks like Lisa. Is that weird? Ooh. It's giving Seattle. <laughs> No, wait, is it not giving Lisa? What? Because Lisa, wait, what's the music video where she comes in with the coat and the braids? And she's in the cereal room? The cereal room! I was like giving Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is giving Big Bang. The car. The hat. Giving Minzy. Oh my god! Give me. Love them already. You? Yeah. She's the boss baby. Same. <sighs> Whoa. It's so black. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> but it feels new to me. I'm yeah. like, Whoa. Wow. Dimples yet? Because I did. <laughs> like, <we're getting> <laughs> That's all we care about. What do you think of the choreo? Is it catchy? I love it. Yeah. That girl was Lisa. Mini Lisa for sure. This one? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The neon hair? Yeah. The green. Yeah. Dance break? Dance break? Oh, Give us a dance break. Go. Oh, I expected it to happen. Dance break! A lot of fur coats in this. <laughs> Another YG staple, I swear. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Yes. This will be really so good at a festival. Energy. Yeah. Yeah. Very high energy. Yep. <laughs> wait, I want to replay one yes. thing. Wait, 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 wait. There's wait. one girl. Hold on. Hold on. You're gonna catch it. Wait, oh, yeah, I missed it. Do you see the girl? There's like a fan happening. Oh, uh, she's, she's like, like, too strong. <laughs> she's not on Beyonce's <laughs> level yet. Give me a second. Oh my god. With the really diva cute. fan. Okay. Very cute. What are yeah. your thoughts? I love it. Do you? <laughs> fan, yeah. Maybe this I'm a little more critical, but I need to see more. This is not. What? This is all I need. I need fur coats, I need attitude, I need visuals and dancing. Okay, here's the thing though. Have you actually heard a lot about Baby Monster since they've debuted? Because no. they've been quiet. It's been quiet. Yeah. It's been quiet. It's giving it like it's remind me of um Bella Hadid. <laughs> She's like <laughs> He's got bees on, it's quiet for him. If homeboy is coming through with these, right. it's quiet. Yeah, no, right. it's quiet for him. Oh my God. But yeah. I think they have a lot of potential and with the support of YG, I think they'll have like great mm -hmm. you know, support, but the landscape's uh, so competitive. Yeah. I don't know. If they'll have longevity. Yeah, and also it's only Blackpink is like inactive. 
Blackpink are literally still active. So mm -hmm. they're literally competing with Blackpink with the same concept under the same label. Mm, I feel like, I guess everyone is talking about how YG, they think it's tanking. Yeah. I guess it's not doing as well as other groups are, or other labels are. I don't know. For me right now, Jury's still out, Baby Monster. Like, I'll check them out for Wait, the next song. So but... your qualm is that they're not doing anything? Qualm? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I read. They're not doing anything fresh. They're and not doing anything new. Right. I think in the K-pop landscape where there's a billion groups debuting like every single month and there's a lot of competition from really like veterans like Blackpink yeah. and a lot of big groups still d doing music, you have to find something that makes you stand out. Their standout point for now I think would be the fact that they speak so many languages. Yeah. So much English lyrics are probably going to appeal to a wider audience exactly. right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Batter up. Um, <laughs> That's why they called it that. <laughs> um, but just in terms of sound, it sounds like a lot of other K-pop music out there. So in the groups you've seen debut, mm -hmm. what's an example of something different that those groups had? Like for example, a group like IVE. We've mm -hmm. reacted to IVE before. Mm -hmm. Like when they came out, they came in with a glamorous concept, which is something we haven't okay. seen in a long time. Yeah. Whereas this is just the same as Blackpink. And Blackpink was also another version Good. of Good. It's cool. That's all you need. I need something new, something I fresh. Guess. Yeah. I'm not saying they're not mm. going to be successful. I just need to see more. And to be honest, most mm. times I don't like a group's first song. I think their okay. first song is always like a feeler. And Yo, then we got to see how they I'm grow. I'm good off the bat. <laughs> I feel like every time I hear a first song, yeah. like they're great, great yeah. group. But usually when it has this kind of energy, I also just like the visuals a yeah. lot. And if they continue with this type of visuals, honestly, you. You got me with visuals and dancing. That's really all you need to impress me. It's easy, guys. <laughs> so Confer easy to impress. So they're planning to release a new single in February. So all maybe right. we'll revisit Let's that go. when it comes out. They already released the title of the song, which is oh. kind of crazy. Stuck in the Middle? Stuck in the Middle hmm. of YG. <laughs> Blackpink to anyone, <laughs> baby. I don't know. Why would they be in the middle of them? I don't know. 21's coming back. I don't, I don't, I don't know, OK? <laughs> Forget Just my no point. Uh, okay. but I, you know what? I'm willing to give them another another shot. I don't know why. I feel like that song is gonna be a ballad. Type. What? Stuck in the middle? That doesn't sound like hard hitting. Batter up, you knew it was gonna be like Stuck uh. in the middle. <laughs> That's it for this video. Let us know who we should talk about next, yeah. who we should check out next. Shade and I are going to be doing much more K-pop content on the mm -hmm. channel, so follow, subscribe. Yeah. Let, Let us, us know, what, know see. what you guys think about Baby Monster, where you think their career is headed. And come back to us when they do really Stuck in the Middle and leave And here. then we can react to that okay. and I'll show you my new dance moves. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't come back for that. I'll, I'll They're stop. not coming I back I'll for stop, that. I'll stop, I promise. <laughs> much love, guys. Yeah. No, no, wait, you know K-pop doesn't do that anymore, right? That's an old heart. That's even old now. That's like a third generation thing. Hold on. Hold on. No way. I can't do a reverse. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. Guys, I'm struggling.